Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. Big fan of Justified, so it's really Thank cool you, to have Tim Dalvin joining Appreciate me. It. Atlantic Theater Gala. Yeah. What brings you here tonight? I'm actually doing a play at the Atlantic right now. Not right now. Right now I'm hanging with you. But like, uh, <laughs> today's our day off. But uh, tomorrow, I'll be at the Atlantic. It's called Hello, My Name uh, Is... No, no, Hello, My Name Is... No, close, in that it starts with an H. And it's a long title. Hold on to me, darling. Hold on to me, darling. It's a new play by the uh, great Kenneth Lonergan and directed by Neil Pepe, the artistic director of The Atlantic. You're coming off such a memorable show, an iconic show. What was it like yeah. saying goodbye to Justified and, and such a memorable character? Well, it was uh, an unbelievable run and, and uh, a pleasure to be a part of it and to, um, to work with all those amazing people, uh, both on and off the screen. So the, I think the biggest thing was that you know, you're just going to miss them. When you get to have a chance to work with someone for that long, when it's all over, you're going to miss them. Another show, Deadwood, that I love. Yeah. They're making a movie now. How That's what they tell me. <laughs> How crazy is that? I mean, the fans pretty much forced HBO to bring it back. <laughs> well, I don't know how it's happening or if it's happening, or but it, uh, more power to them. When you look at having such a great run on television, but then doing live production, what's the difference for you? What does it allow you to do? Uh, you have to project. That's a thing in the theater. You have to reach the back row. That's something you don't have to work, worry about on uh, TV. Um, but otherwise, I don't know. There's something more, um, I don't know. There's just something so magical about uh, the theater. That you're experiencing it with not only the actors on stage, but with the crowd. They're very much a part of it. The audience is very much a part of the experience. You're listening to them as much as you're listening to the person on stage. And you, you know, you don't know what you're going to get every night. Blind date every night. When you look at television right now, having been part of such a great show, there's so many other great shows right now. What is it that's making TV so good all across the spectrum? No, it's where the money is, I guess. <laughs> it's where every actor wants to end up right Apparently, now. Yeah, that's the deal. And diversity in Hollywood. What do we? Can, what can everybody do to, to, to make this problem better in what's going on in, in town? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I suppose in, until they let minorities really have a, a real... Uh, position within the studios and making decisions and until that really changes that's a big part of the it's a part of the culture of that problem so I think it's bigger than just Hollywood what's next for you after the play is done um, a bath <laughs> <laughs> go back to driving kids around walking the dogs <laughs> have you sort of think about any projects yeah yeah well you know man's got to work <laughs>